you could be losing out on tens of thousands of dollars if you are unaware of what your primary insurance amount is. Do you know what the primary insurance amount is and its connection with your full retirement age? And why, if you don't know what this is, how you could be making some very costly mistakes? In this video, I will share with you how to think about and understand what a primary insurance amount is, what full retirement age is, and how to maximize your Social Security benefits. Hi there, my name is Mark Singer, founder of Your Retirement Authority channel and for over 30 years, president of Safe Harbor Retirement Planning. If you're interested in timely, up-to-date information about how to maximize your Social Security income and your retirement income, subscribe to our channel and click on the notifications bell to make sure that you're alerted to when we post new videos. There is a lot to understand to make sure that you are aware of what a primary insurance amount or PIA is and how it's connected to your full retirement age. So let me share with you my screen. I'll share with you a few slides so you can get a better understanding of what it is and how important it is to you. So let's start out with the fact that the wrong decision can cost potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars, depending upon your situation over your lifetime for your household. Let's assume there is a monthly benefit of $2,000 today and we're going to assume 2.6% cost of living increases, which, which is what the Social Security trustees are assuming looking forward. It's not necessarily you're going to get it every year. They're assuming that's the average. If you live 10 more years, then you'll receive $300,000. If you live 20 more years, you'll receive a total of about $660,000. And if you live 30 more years, you'll receive a little over $1.1 million. But that's only for one person. What if there are two in the household and the second, the spouse, will get at least 50% of your benefit if you do max out? So if you live 10 more years, that's an extra $150,000 available to you. If you do live 20 more years, that's about another $350,000 available or almost a million dollars of household income. And if you live 30 more years, both of you, it'll be an income of an extra $550,000 or almost $1.6 million. So as you can see, there's a lot of value to the Social Security income. And if you make the wrong claim, if you make it at the wrong time, not understanding what your PIA is, then it could cost you tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars over your lifetime. So in this next slide, how Social Security benefits are calculated. You can see that at age 62, each year's earnings are tallied up and indexed for inflation. They take the highest 35 years, put it through a formula, and you come out with a benefit that is called the PIA, and then it is, it is increased each year for cost of living. As you can see, as an example of the benefit formula, if you were born in 1957 and you had maxed out your earnings from age 22, your PIA, or the amount that you would expect to receive at your full retirement age, is approximately $3,000. So now that you know what your PIA is, and it's associated with your full retirement age, when is your full retirement age? Well, if you were born between 1943 and 1954, your full retirement age is 66. And if you were born in 1960 or later, your full retirement age is age 67. Anywhere in between, they prorate it. For me, I was born in 1955, so my full retirement age is 66 and two months. There are 567 different strategies, so I understand that there might be some confusion. But if you're interested in learning more after this video, 
then the next video we will be posting will be on the earnings test and how it could cost you tens of thousands of dollars. So if you do decide to work before your full retirement age, now that you know what your full retirement age, it could be a very costly venture. If you're interested in watching that, make sure to click on the link below for the description of the next video. So let's go on to the talking points for today. So now that you know what your full retirement age is and what your PIA or primary insurance amount is, it's important to understand you can also make a decision as to whether or not you want to apply either early or later. But I find that those two words are very misleading. Early seems to be a reward, right? You know, I'm early to the concert. I get front row tickets. I'm early to the buffet. All the food is still there. Late kind of means it's like a you paid your bill late and there's a fine or a penalty. So let's free frame how you're going to be thinking about this as you think about when you're going to apply. So this slide says, what if you apply for early benefits? I would prefer to reframe this and say, what if you applied in the penalty phase? Because that's what it is. If you apply before your full retirement age, you're penalized. If your full retirement age is 67 and you apply at age 62, you only get 70% of your PIA or a 30% haircut. Each year you go up a little bit more until you finally reach age 67. Um, and get you 100% of your PIA. But if you do apply before age 67, it's a penalty. Versus, what if you apply after full retirement age? I call this the bonus phase. Because now you'll earn 8% in annual delayed credits, 8% each year, simple, not compounded. And if there is any inflation, let's assume a 2.6% inflation, you'll actually be getting delayed credits of almost 10% per year, assuming inflation. So your PIA will be increased each year that you delay it or take it in the bonus phase. So this knowledge alone could be worth tens of thousands of dollars to you so that you understand what your PIA is, what your full retirement age is, and what is the importance of understanding whether you apply in the early or penalty phase or get the delayed credits and apply in the bonus phase. Also, if you look, you can watch other videos, um, you find out that if he uh, applies at age 62, he's sort of setting a stake in the ground for the spousal benefit as well, or the survivor benefit. So it could be a very costly decision, not only now when the two of you are here, but later maybe when only she is around. So if you are confused about the 567 different strategies. And if you're interested in developing a personalized retirement income plan designed to maximize your Social Security income in retirement, then click on the link to become my client. Also, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, send it to your friends. Thank you very much for watching. And here's to enjoying the retirement journey.